playing around Europe. 12 are looking to get qualified. Two are already there, USA and, and Japan. So the remaining 14, we're looking at 10. Already we know China is there by way of their victory early on against Spain. This is a Group A matchup between Serbia and Nigeria, followed by Mozambique, United States, later on at 8 o'clock GMT. Nigeria, if they get the victory, will qualify. They'll have won uh, it's Mozambique 48 hours ago. A second victory will put them there. Serbia lost to USA on game day one. They cannot qualify tonight even with a victory. So all to play for. Teams disappear to the benches. With me is Azania Stu, as always. This is game number seven, Azania. Hello, I'm back. Uh, yes, the back-to-back -back Afro Basket champions are here to play. They tr beat Mozambique. 85 to 51 their last game and they stay true to themselves very aggressive style they pushed up they will press the whole 40 minutes no doubt serbia would have 100 percent prepped for this uh, definitely spoke about it in scout and video and watched how aggressive uh, nigeria are but i was very impressed in front of their home crowd serbia put on a great performance against the us of a uh, 88 to 69 so they played very very well also coach emptied out the Serbian bench, everyone got to play, but Brooks, number nine, and number 23, Anna Dabovic, both led their team by 13 points. So, players to be welcomed onto the floor. Nigeria onto the floor, first of all. They'll be in all green, their familiar green shirts and green shorts. Players yeah. to watch out for, Xenia. Well, Who do you fancy having a big game today? Well, I did love uh, Promise Amukamara. She definitely played strong for them. She also had 14 points and then came out with Kalu, their MVP, 11 points. And then the silent assassin is Elenu, who always plays well. She filled up the sheet. Uh, but also, uh, Nigeria played all 12 players. Everyone got to play the last game, so everyone's got out the jitters and they'll be feeling good and uh, I think coach for Nigeria would have definitely Otis would have definitely prepared his team they are going uh, for the win here there's no sure about it as the crowd will stand up as, uh, G, uh, as um, Serbia is called out a nice little gathering here we had a bigger crowd for the USA game two nights ago but this is not a bad crowd for a Saturday night and uh, glad to see it too maybe 3,000 in here as the Serbians come onto the floor. Yeah. They're a tough unit. I thought they played really well, especially that fourth quarter when the bench team took on the USA team. USA definitely had to make some adjustments to pull that game out of the hat. Yeah, I really enjoy watching Serbia. They're definitely battle-tested, so this game is going to be very, very good. These but teams are both very aggressive, as we see uh, those Olympic sunglasses as we rise for both national anthems.
there's nothing like bringing a home crowd uh, together than the national anthem and that was uh, beautifully sung by the players they're all in uh, harmony there Zania. players coaches meet at half court I definitely and shakes and uh, mentors my, exchanged I sing my uh, you get comfortable anthem. real loud yeah sorry about this just uh, getting ready for the next game this is our third of the day loving life three referees yeah viola i'm oh, sorry georgie mikiev and uncle rogers i think i pronounced that correctly uh, are in charge today something you noticed uh, this morning that the three referees will stay as teams through the tournament looks like yeah they're not changing so those three referee together yes so i like it because it creates a bit of a cohesive unit and it shows how seriously this is taken at this level. Yeah, and here we see Nigeria starting to line up. I really like uh, Promise of Mukamura. Victoria McCauley has earned her way into the starting lineup. She is a pretty tall. Uh, she's a post player, but has guard skills. She's done really well. As you see her in the lineup with Elenu, Akator, Ngifa, Kelu, and McCauley in the starting lineup. So the same five that uh, started against Mozambique and that their old uh, route of the uh, their fellow African nations. Yeah. They're that's highlighting Kalu. There's in a Kalu. That's not Kalu. That is Promise Amukamara. So it? apologies for that. That's my favourite player. So I know that. Yeah. Kalu wears number 23 with a long hair. Yep. And as for Serbia, who do you, uh, who do you really like in this I squad? I like number five, Sonia Vasic. She's definitely a vet. She's been battle tested. She's hit game winners, uh, jump shot. And then Anna, Anna Damovic is a smaller guard, but likes to post up real aggressive. Will get up in your face as you see uh, the starting lineup. Yeah, Brooks and Damovic, a lot of experience. Krasinik as well, Yavanovic and uh, Vasic. Anna Dabovic, you know, the, the floor general for sure, right? 13 points, three rebounds, two assists in that game the other day against the States. I thought, uh, you know, with a little bit more luck running their way, that would have been a much closer affair. Yeah, they uh, they went to their second unit on the bench, Serbia did, and did a really nice push uh, right there in the fourth quarter. Um, as actually, those are uh, Temi Fag Benley's parents now uh, rocking. Uh, supporting the Nigerian, the shirt. Nigerian shirts. I know her father quick, quick is from change. there. Quick change. Otis Hewley there from Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, we watched him in practice this morning. He was uh, Very the, intense, the general in control. Yeah, he was uh, run through every defensive set needed to beat the Serbian team. Seems like he does a lot of work in terms of video coverage that uh, sometimes the assistants and other teams take care of, right? Yeah. Scouting Marina Malkovic down the other end. Qualification not in the hands of Serbia today, um, but for Nigeria, yes, with a victory. And this won't be an easy game for uh, uh, for Serbia. Nigeria is an up-and-coming country. I like the way Otis Hewley plays. They, they're up and down in your face. They full-court press. They're uh, sprightly around the floor, and they can score. Yeah, and it'll be interesting to see how Serbia uh, has prepared for Nigeria's style of a full-court press. They will trap, they will change up a lot of defense for them. So they would prepare for this, no doubt. Uh, but I do like both teams. They both have strength coming off their bench. Uh, so it'll be a very good game. I'm quite excited to start uh, the third game of the day in this Group A. And of course, women's basketball in Belgrade is only 12 months ago. This team gained bronze medal at the Eurobasket held here in uh, Serbia. So uh, the revisit here of another tournament is uh, welcome for many Serbian basketball fans for sure. Serbians are on the floor already. There you see them. It's a tall starting five, isn't it? I mean, you have to be big at this level. Yeah, I am. Um I'm going to give you till halftime, but could you find out the stat for me? How many times this uh, Nigerian team has played Serbia? I don't think very many. You've got time. I've put you on the spot here. I can, um, I can multitask. <laughs> but I, I would like to know this stat. I like this team coming out for Nigeria. McCauley, uh, Kalu is um, the MVP from the Afro Basket. Silent Assassin, uh, uh, Elenu and then Akator and Ngifa have great um, 
rebounding skills as it comes up. So we are underway here in Belgrade. This is game three of four, Nigeria versus Serbia. And uh, Nigeria will get first bite of the cherry down to Macaulay, low number 25, guarded by uh, a very, very tall Krasinic. Shot from Ngifa, 21, goes down. Yeah, great shot for her, hands down, and she shoots it. Nobody came out to, to guard her, so good for her. Good early start here for Nigeria, and here you see Kalu up. And straight away, you see the pressure. They are so intense. Vasic, three! Was it? No, two. The referee's fingers pointing to the floor, giving a two-pointer. So we're tied up here. And Serbia can apply their own little defensive pressure. They know how to play hard, there's no doubt about that. Double team on that ball stream. Macaulay left with the three and drops the three for Macaulay yeah. straight into the press. Macaulay feeling it, leaving the hand up there, letting them know. Well, the press is uh, having a little effect here on Serbia's uh, strength. And straight away, Krasinic misses a shot, a rush shot there for Serbia. Macaulay down the other end, goes in, bangs around a little bit. And it's Vasic with the rebound, comes flying out of the pack. Yeah, Macaulay was asking for a foul there, but tough shot, good defense by Serbia as Vasic takes a strong move. Livanovic wide open, daps it to Dabovic. Dabovic three! 5-4. Yeah. Well, that's a uh, tied up game, 5-5, five, five. what am I saying? <laughs> Need to have a word with the scoreboard in here. It's not working as quick as he needs to be. Yeah, I'll let them know. Elenu. <laughs> and G for 21. Elenu drops a little jump shot. The uh, whisper of uh, the silent assassin. <laughs> she just works so hard offensively and defensively as well, they turn the, over the ball. Look at the pressure here on Serbia as, as Brooks is turned over. And uh, this will be relentless for sure. This is another deflected pass. Vasic now to try and calm things down for Serbia. Don't think it'd be long before we get uh, Bojevic in the game. Jovanovic is foul on a three, I think, by McCauley. Yeah, I notice Julio it there, is a head, three, coach, yeah. head coach over there, just shrugs his hold shoulders and slaps his knees because he knows that's a that's a bad foul that puts uh foul in shooters is never wise right puts uh jovanovic who is a three-point shoot that definitely will be on her scalp so there's four teams in this group a um Azania. Yeah. serbia have not played either Mozambique or Nigeria in competitive play before. The only team they played is the USA. So they're 0-2 against the USA. Yeah, I had a feeling they hadn't played each other before. Uh, definitely, obviously, with the European um, uh, not really crossing over much with the Afro basket until the Olympic Games well, or this and, tournament. And Mozambique's a newcomer, right? They're the right. new kids on the block, so they definitely wouldn't have played. And Nigeria, in some ways, themselves have not been to many big tournaments over the years. Right. Both free throws, all three free throws, uh, two of them went in. 8-9 the score. Serbia trying to apply their own defensive pressure here. I'll tell you, an upset would be an interesting the result here. Who's the upset? Well, the upset would be Nigeria winning for me. Okay. And Serbia are a favourite, I would think. Kalu, the crossover, little 15-footer. Well, as in a Kalu, uh, there's no fear. I don't think they've missed a shot yet, have they? No. Four for four, another double team, really hustling Serbia through their uh, through their game. Brooks spins to the middle, comes right to the middle, flicks it up, hits the back of the rim. That will be Nigeria's uh, uh, turnover. Jovanovic there, right place, right time. Brooks, Krasnic wanted the post up, so come on ball screen, Davovic now. Davovic has to throw it up, and Elenu just flies in. Corral that defensive rebound, and Gif has to do a lot of work to collect. I don't know the jump shot. Another one goes down. 13-8. I believe the, uh, that is five for five. There's a vice president there on your screen for Nigeria as he gets up out of his seat. Damovic looking to move it on. They were talking about this offense this morning in practice. They've done pretty well there, Nigeria. 
Masic goes up, that's going to roll around the ring. Krasnic gets the rebound, and one. Let's see where this foul is going to go, well, it's going to be Kalu, 23. It is indeed Azine Kalu. As we say, the hand in the cookie jar. <laughs> yeah, and good uh, extra effort there. I'm not sure Kalu was the foul, you know, it's been given as Kalu. Here's McCauley's first long-range shot. Vasic goes in. The extra pass there out to Davovic for three. Great, yeah. great highlight. Sorry, Vasic, is it? Vasic for me has it most improved. Like I've seen her play the season in Hungary, and now she plays with Chopron and just plays great, strong minutes. So good for her for getting a great, strong rebound as. Davovic turns around to the referees and says, "What do they do?" Right? It's just a little minor yeah. collision. Watch this. There wasn't much in it. I mean, the ball had already left McCauley's hands. Hopefully, Davovic will not be uh, needing that foul back at the end of this game. Kalu, same offense they're running here, down low or up top. They go up top to Elonu. And Gifa's low post, she likes that and scores. They have not missed a shot. 15 points in just over four minutes. Long pass down the lane, Jovanovic drives. Kick out to Brooks, Brooks drives. Good defense from Nigeria. Krasnic up and misses. Yeah, she a little was bit of contract, yeah. There, yeah. Elanu up. Uh, they missed a shot at last. Akator gets a. That's her first touch, I think. McCauley misses. Big roar from the crowd as they sense uh, they've got a finally got a defensive stop. Damovich to Brooks. Brooks goes in, flying in, comes up with nothing. Elamu, down low to McCauley, good work from Krasinek to make sure that uh, McCauley was not going to get an easy pass, deflected out of bounds. Rutis Hewley, the head coach, just saying, get her on your back, get some contact with her. Sideline Nigeria. Would love the start the uh, Nigerians have made here. Yep. Kalu, three misses, the rebound. Jovanovic, where well, we got defensive foul here. To be on the box out, maybe a hold. This is on. Kreisenik, isn't it? 33. Yep. Yeah, her first foul there. All the way back out to Akator. Kalu comes up top. A lot of experience on this Nigerian team. Akator fires up a J. So they've uh, they went very hot. They've gone very cold. This is the last four. Yeah, that one went in and out as we see Vasic here bring the ball up. Jovanovic. Good defense from Kalu. Kalu will get this foul, but I thought it was good defense. She was, she was stuck on the switch. That got switched away from her. And then she was very good about meeting Jovanovic the other side of the pick and roll. Yeah, here we see the foul. Just gets right under her. You know, and, and Kalu will say, I didn't do too much wrong. It's so a second foul, so an early uh, early pine time for her. Yeah, she's going to be disappointed with that as she comes off. But uh, Promiser Mukumara is just as uh, quick and sleek and, and gets in there. So that's not bad. And then... Uh, well, it actually it makes your life a lot easier because yeah, you love I love Mukumara. seeing that, you're right. And uh, Ify... Um, Ibekwe. Ibekwe has also subbed him. Oh, that's a tough call. Yeah. Otis Hewley's gone running to sit down in his chair. He's so upset with that call. You yeah, know, it, when you're playing the tough defense, you want no ticky-tack stuff. No, and good job, Serbia. They probably prepared for this, and they're doing a good job just sealing off Nigeria, making sure uh, that they have good position to receive the ball. Jovanovic to inbound here. Hewley's calmed down a bit. Coach of Nigeria. Krasinik. Skip pass here to Vasic. Vasic puts the ball on the floor. Eleanor did very well there. That's going to roll out. Ibekwe just manages to make sure that uh, Krasinik doesn't get the ball. Therefore, it's Nigeria's. And Mokamara will bring the ball down. Start things off for Nigeria. This will be the same offense again. There's like seventh time in a row I think they've run it. High to Akator. Here's Elamu. 
McCauley into the low post. McCauley, that one goes long. So after a really bright start, they've been stuck on 15 points. We're at three minutes now. Kick out, Davovic, one more, Jovanovic, three. Krasinik is battled out of it by Ebekwe. Ebekwe looks on to Elanu to push the pace. Back to Ebekwe. And Mokamara turns the corner or tries to. She will get a layup and score. That's a soft touch for the left hand. Yeah, fantastic drive. Straight into drag. defense. And she's so, she's so quick with that. That little hesitation just gives her that space to drive right through and score an easy one. Davovic might get an easy two here, flicks it up and scores. Promise from Okamara could have done better defensively there, you feel. Yeah, but that's that's uh, Davovic's uh, true talent. She is so smart, very good, uh, posting up, even undersized. Elonu goes in, leaves her feet slightly, Ibekwe, McCauley. McCauley will drive a bump, no call. Davovic on the break here. Davovic in. To Brooks, got it! Serbia closed the gap to two. Brooks is so good at that. Her twitch fibers here, look. She hardly catches the ball. It's catch, boom, and it's, it's up. A, it's a tough skill to come up with, isn't it? Just a catch, bounce, and uh, score. McCauley, handoff with Elenu. Elenu turns the corner, little jump shot for Elenu. Another one misses. And Mokamaro up uh, two for Nigeria. That might settle them down a bit. Vasic. That's a tall player, Sonia Vasic, for a guard. Brooks in, turns the corner. Brooks drops one in. You know, if uh, Nigeria are going to play that uh, loose in the low post, they're going to be scoring all night down there. I would agree. Ibekwe looking for Elanu. Ibekwe decides to drive now. Offensive foul as he's completely barreled over Jovanovic. Yeah, great position for Jovanovic. Let's look have a here. look at this. She moves her feet. She did very well, didn't she? Just getting ahead of the drive, getting in position. Wasn't in great defensive position, but then Elanu just extended her arm. An easier call for the referee then. Sarah Movia is back in or into the game now as is Mohamed, so we've got five subs in already for Nigeria. And number 13, Milic. I enjoyed watching her play against USA. USA. She was the tool, she was uh, defending Brittany Griner very, very well as she matches up here with Mohamed. Here's Vasic to Milic. Vujovic in the game for Serbia here, 15. Vujovic turns the corner, Vasic unloads a long three, it's hit the front of the rim and the back of the rim as well. And that will be Nigeria's ball, the referee said, I think Milic touched it last. No, oh, he's called a foul as well. That's a bit disappointing. But either way, good box out by Nigeria to cause that foul. So a team foul for Serbia, uh, Nigeria with five. There's a Mokamara. Simple horn set for Nigeria, just trying to unloose, unloose, unloose something. Elenu's the main scorer out of them. Mukamara for three. Ooh, big game for Promise for Mukamara. She has five so far. I think she's going to have my vote for top five players in this part. Already? Yeah, because she has come out just on fire as she was in the uh, Mozambique game. Otis Hewley just begging his team to get pressure on that ball out there. Brooks, another J, that was in and out, tough play. Milic goes up, it's fouled. I think Amovia will get this foul, or oh, no, sorry, Mohamed probably. Let's have a look at the numbers. Tell me what you think, I think it's number nine. I think so it is, yeah. yeah. But there's uh, Milic that I was talking about, a tough rebound versus a big body like Mohamed, great job. And uh, Mohamed didn't box her out and she just won that battle down low. No question that Milic was going to make that free throw. Very, very uh, focused. Played right, played right around Europe, Italy, Belgium, Poland. Oh, almost intersection from Katarina Milic as well. 
Yeah. Sorry, Nikolina Milic. And we were here this morning for uh, Nigeria's shoot around. They practiced this. They practiced this press break. So I want to see how it works. From Samokamora breaks it, but this trap is coming. Did well, broke it. Almost a deflection there from the service Boyevich, but they got away with it, Nigeria. Shot clock's now down to single figures. Ibekwe and a moving screen. It's against uh, Mohammed, I think. That's two for her. There's a pretty quick two fouls as well. I wonder yeah. if uh, Coach Hooley goes to his bench. Yes, he does. He says sub, 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 but I don't think he's going to get it. He's going to get it in time, that's for sure. Into the lane comes Milic, finds the front of the rim, and it will stay with Serbia. Good work from Bojevic to keep it alive. Substituting the game is uh, Evelyn Akator, 13. She probably thought she was going to be resting to the end of the first period, but she's, uh, because of those two fouls from Armand, she's back in. Chado's in, tries to look inside, that will go to Nigeria. That pass from Chado to Milic, went firing in, Milic couldn't quite corral it in. Ooh. There's a strong smell of aftershave around here, I can hardly breathe. Can you smell that? Or is me. that you? No, it's definitely not me. Yeah. Nice pass down to Akator, Akator goes up for the score. And Nigeria last touched it out. Sometimes that position there. It's a tough shot. Yeah, so you, you throw it out to the three-pointer, three-point shooters, because you know the defense is sagging in. What's she wearing today? It's a... There's a cool T-shirt on Marina sure. Malkovic, head coach of Serbia, there with a great T-shirt. She's always wearing something you can draw your eyes to. It was, uh, what was it? Yes, a Tweety Pie, wasn't it? Lapel pin? Yep. She still has Two that. Days ago. Yeah, a uh, tough foul there by uh, Promesa Mokomora. She just tried to hustle a little bit too much and caused the foul. And she is now on her second as well. So Nigeria has three players with two fouls at the end of the first. Well, Nigeria led 15 8. They've scored four points in the next six minutes of play. And in the contrast, Serbia have hit 12. And now 13, and the press from Serbia now. Mukamara here, foul from Bojevic. They had a foul to give. 3.6 seconds on the clock. Yeah, Serbia's done a great job uh, getting to the free throw line, getting some cheapies, so that's how they've got back into this game. Akator almost fumbled it. That's looking good. Nope, it's off. And that's the end of 10 minutes of action. For Nigeria 22, Serbia 21. After being down by about seven, Serbia have done well to fight their way back into this one. Talk some numbers to me here. Here we go. Both 50% uh, for Nigeria, eight for 16. And then only one for three. See what I was talking about? The eight for eight, 100% for Serbia from the free throw line and zero for Nigeria. So they're being aggressive and they're putting themselves at the line for eight three pointers. As I was saying, they've had eight free free throws from uh, being aggressive and uh, putting pressure. And also, they were in team fouls there, Nigeria, because they were being so aggressive with their press. Uh, and as we see some highlights here, um, Yingifa, nice little jumper. Uh, I think I think they did well in the first quarter. The first quarter, Nigeria kind of pressing up turned over uh, Serbia, but I saw Brooks to say, calm down, we've got time, relax, make sure we look after the ball, and I think they did a much better job uh, to the end of that first quarter. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. The, the Nigerian all-smothering press has gone. Now, that was the first two or three minutes. There's the layup from Kalu that was part of this run. I don't see that press as being that, uh, that all, can, all uh, smothering anymore. We'll go back to your uh, eight for eight from the free throw line. Nigeria have 8,000 that quarter, so the last four of those would have been in bonus, or three of those would have been in bonus, and that's exactly where those free throws would have come from. Not least that last foul from Promise of Mukamara, yeah. which was like 80 feet from the bucket. 
Yeah, and they have to be careful going into the second quarter because with Kalu and Promise both being the same type player with two fouls, they have to be be, uh, be careful. Mohamed uh, is a post player, so she's been aggressive. She picked those up too quickly, in my opinion. But the guards, Kalu and Promise Makamura, she needs to be careful because they are a big piece of this team. Second quarter underway here. Balls in the hands of Bojevic. Milic comes up top. And Chado, Chado loves the shot. She had uh, four three-pointers against the States down low to Vasic. That's a mismatch waiting to happen. The Mokamara's picked her up. Vasic, kick here to Bojevic. Chado for three. Bang, got it. That is what she does best, uh, Sasha Chado. Yeah, she sports that black eye. She is tough, as you can see. She's shot very, very well as well against the USA from that three-point line, so good for her. And as she deeds up on the other end. Four of nine against the USA. Wow, they're uh, a little at all at sorts right now in Nigeria. That's two seconds on the clock. Yeah, they're having a whole, whole lot of trouble out there. Yeah, uh, Serbia's turned up their defensive uh, pressure there, as we see. The perfect three-point shot, nothing but net. And her team celebrates her big shot there. One way to get yourself back in the game is to play some defense. Here's the defense I'm talking about. There's no pressure here on Vasic yeah, from uh, I'm, Ebekwe. I'm surprised by this. Milic, same play coming here, I think. Over to Vasic, Bojevic. Down low to Milic. Milic comes to the middle, up and under move. That was a uh, sweet timeout for Otis Hewley. Oh, no. Yeah, no, the buzzer go. No, Milic got it off on time. She had one of those in the USA. Great minutes from her. The Milic minutes. <laughs> Milic minutes. The Bekwe. There's promise of Mokamara, who has definitely got the hot hand. Forget those two fouls, Azania. She, uh, she's there for her offense right now. Yeah, two for two there, as you see on the screen. Quick ten points. Good defense from Nigeria. I'm not sure that was the wisest shot to take for Vasic. Nigeria's got some... Oh, it's a... Oh, bailed out by Chado. That was Bekwe out of control there. There's that black eye we alluded to two days ago that's coming up a nice little color for her. Yeah, that's definitely a foul. She just put her hands in. Good hit there from Promise. Lovely. Defeat the Beckway. Two free throws. Nice soft touch. She's one fly down. Three of four in the win against Mozambique. Goes long, gets a rebound. That's good Cardinal work. Sin. Yeah, he's boxing out the shooter. He's yeah. promised to Mukamara. We get to run for those in college. And rightly so. Ibekwe goes up, no foul this time. Brooks was first on the floor. Dabovic to Vasic. Trying to put some pressure here on Vasic. Brooks for three! What a shot from Yelena Brooks. That is a big time shot. Yeah, that's really good for her. I've seen her shoot those in the Euro League many a times. Good for her. It's always nice to get that shot in. Very much so. And start to gain Serbia, your confidence. Serbia cleaning up the rebounds too. It's all looking good right now for Serbia. Brooks is feeling it. Got it by Akator. Skip pass to Vasic, wide open. There was a mismatch down with the Mukamara. A height mismatch, a big one too. Otis Hewley going down the bench for somebody. Yeah, he's livid on that pass for sure, and that basket by Vasic. And Giefer is 21 here. Ball screen. That's not great basketball. Off to the races goes Brooks. Brooks. And a foul from 24 Imovia. I'm surprised Brooks didn't pass that. Earlier. Because it's actually a very good foul. I don't... Would there be shots? Yeah, there is. Brooks has gone to the line. She's not even going to wait for a decision. 
Yeah, he showed two shots yeah. earlier when he called the foul. I thought, um, I think uh, Serbia's doing a fantastic job on the defensive end. They are putting the pressure on Nigeria, really slowing them down, uh, you know, not even getting a shot at sometimes, but, and then pushing the ball right back down on them. They're really playing Nigeria's game against them. Yeah, well, Nigeria's struggling for uh, organization and Kalu's in the game exactly for that, I think. Kalu's the floor general. Out of the two, out of Amukamara and Kalu, I think Huli probably sees that uh, Kalu is probably the better organizer of the team. Yeah, Kalu and now Elenu back in. They are very calm. Nobody really rushes them. They need that right now, especially that Serbia is really speeding them up. Great minutes there from Brooke as uh, Stankovic subs in. Fantastic minutes as she hits the bench. And not a bad sub to bring in for the first time. It's 6.40 left in the second quarter. Dragana Stankovic. Yeah, and on that stat there, 10 for 10, Serbia at the free throw line. Well, they just started making shots, haven't they? Where uh, Nigeria started so brightly. Foul here against Serbia. See where this is going on 15. So would that be uh, 4 15's Bojevic? It's her second foul. I wonder if she'll. Malkovic might think of a sub for her. Yep, she yep, looks down her bench. Straight away gone for it. Here's Kalu. A foul here from 13. Milic. It's a good play from Nigeria. Get uh, Serbia in some sort of foul trouble. Early in this quarter, now on three team fouls. So Bojevic will come out, Jovanovic will replace her. Krizanic in, and uh, Milic will sit down. Milic has got her second foul. Yeah, it's now Serbia's turn to add some more Christmas lights on the board. Yep. Lots of fouls as another one comes in, as Stankovic is undisciplined and puts her hand in. Yes, indeed. Four fouls now for Serbia. Yeah, and she'll be, they'll be at the line, the next foul. Just that matters now whether Serbia can stay out of foul trouble. That was almost another foul against Stankovic, is Kalu. Now, Belogu can shoot it. What a rebound that was from uh, Akator. Yeah, she's a rebounding Went machine flying for in sure. there, didn't she? Yeah, you need to box Akator out. Jovanovic there, number eight. And then Gifa will take it out. Elenu. They've gone for the love for Elenu. They've got the ball. Kick out to Bel Belogan, I think. It is indeed another three misses. Good second effort here by Nigeria. This is their third offensive rebound. Serbia needs to box out. Kalanu, another foul here to be shot. I think this is uh, Milkovic's foul here. Now they're at the line. Freebies for five minutes, 41. Unfortunately, Serbia just kept fouling uh, Nigeria because they just kept getting rebound after rebound, putting pressure on Serbia. Four fouls in a row, isn't Yeah. It? Off the same offense, too, isn't it? We've not been down offense. the other end yet. Yeah, no. we have not. So here for the next five minutes and 41 seconds, every time Serbia fouls, Nigeria goes to the line. Serbia have, I'm counting the numbers, eight scorers in their 33 points. That's impressive. And Brooks has nine. Very impressive. Yeah, they Time out here for Nigeria. Sorry, go on. No, it's okay. They definitely, I was just going to add to your point of they do have a lot of scorers and they can fill it up from uh, 1 to 12 on their bench. Let's listen in to the Nigerian timeout.
Abramovich there. Otis Suli is the voice you can hear, head coach of uh, Nigeria. Yeah, we talked about this a uh, couple of sessions ago. As they finish their timeout, the Tigers come in. He, we talked about this earlier, that they weren't pressing. That's their style, 40 minutes. I talked about this and coached uh, in that timeout and said, come on, let's get up in them. Let's get back into our pressing. Here they come out and they sure do start like that. But he had to remind his team, let's get back to what we are good at. No, you're absolutely right. We've uh, definitely curtailed and uh, diminished the longer that first quarter went. Milkovic just bounces uh, in Giefer away. Just making it as difficult as they can. Scorich in the game for Serbia. Good defense from Kalush. Got to be very careful. He's on turf to travel. That is what defense does, right? There Hurries we go. players up. Yeah, Kanu, she fist pumps the air because that was fantastic defense. That is what coach wants. And Kalu will definitely, uh, you know, help this team to wheel their way in because that's their style i've watched them in the afro basket and they between her and elenu are fantastic at trapping and getting up in uh, serbians faces i think kalu's biggest challenge now is not picking up that third foul because uh you have to be careful yeah because that defense is all in your face there's every chance you could get contact somewhere elenu is the screen down for uh, Gifa up top. Yeah. But Logan's wide open. Good pass down low to uh, Akator. But Logan's got to shoot it. That's what you're there for. Doesn't matter if you miss, you've just got to shoot it. That's green ball. That's Nigeria's ball. I think Nigeria needs to do a better job at setting their screens um, as the sun's out with the sunglasses there. Uh, they need a better job at setting solid screens to get open. Uh, they're not doing a very good job here. I hope. Uh, they can hear me from over here, uh, Mick. That was a better screen there from Kalu. Both Kalu and Otis Hewley, head coach, have just told Sarah Belogan, you've got to shoot it. Time running, five seconds. They can't make a shot right now. And they started the game so, uh, so fluently. Yeah, they started off Milkovic is in trouble here from, uh, from Kalu. It's just turned over Milkovic for the second time. Akator goes up, no con oh, there's contact with no call. Off to the races come Brooks. She'll take her time and wait for the cavalry. It's coming in the form of uh, Vasic. They'll go down now to Krasinik. Oh, that's a beautiful defense from uh, Adora Alanu and a foul against uh, Brooks. Brooks. And this will be two shots. Another opportunity for Nigeria to creep back into this one. There's a familiar Miss, face for you there, Miss Zenia. Didi Madouj, Miss Nigerian First Lady herself, former Nigerian player, now coach. Doing a good job in practice this morning, getting the uh, <laughs> yeah, she was. team on the court. She's running the scout team, up. wasn't yeah. she? Well, McCauley's going to come back in. We've not seen her since. She's had a good, I'm going to guess, eight minute break. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see who he subs here. Bringing in height with McCauley off the bench. Two for two for Elanu. It might be her that comes out, to be honest with you. They've... I don't think so. I thought it was the only person you can sub out the end of free throws. No. no? Okay. You can, you can sub out who you want. For Logan. I wouldn't sub out Elanu ever. She's going to play a lot of minutes. For Logan will come out, yeah, and uh, she had her opportunity to shoot the ball. She had the 0 for 3, I think, but uh, all credit to Otis Hewley for giving her the opportunity. Vasic, a bit of pressure from uh, Elanu. Backdoor Vasic, guarded by Kalu. Vasic should have an easy shot here, and uh, that's, that's great composure. Yeah, good job for her for attacking uh, Kalu, because Kalu's on two fouls. She can't be aggressive there. She just stood straight up. Jump shot from Akator misses. And a full travel against Damovic. She had a little nod of the head to agree. Yeah, she knew it. She shuffled her feet there right at the end. Uh, good job again. Once the shot got up, they pressured Serbia, made Damovic well, we look travel. At three turnovers in maybe three minutes. Yeah, I think because so. Because of the pressure. Yeah. There they've, I'm glad the coach took that time out and just re, you know, reassessed Nigeria's defense. They got away from what they're strong at. 
Kalu, the jump shot. Something has to drop in a minute for Nigeria. Otherwise, they might be looking at double digits by half time. Milkovic calls the play. Oh, so it's Jovanovic back in. Brooks. Vasic fires up a three. That looks good, but goes long. That was right in our eye line, that one. Kalu. And Gifa goes up, just flicks it up in the end. It wasn't a great shot, was it? Not much control. Galovic. So disciplined, the Serbians. They know when, what break to get. They don't want a bad shot at all. Jovanovic is fouled. Who's this, Macaulay, do you think? Mm, she's pleading her case, but she definitely swiped in, and referees are always looking for that, and she's saying, hey, they fouled me, they hit my head, but when you swipe wildly at the ball, it doesn't matter if you hit it or not, they will call it. Little who is what's on her top of her shirt. Nigeria going for a double point guard offense here with Umukamara and Kalu in at the game at the same time. Both have two fouls. That means they're going to turn up the defense here for yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't, it's not a bad move. Elenu guarded by Brooks. I thought that foul was coming, you know, because uh, Elenu reached on Brooks as she caught it the first time. Nigeria's only their third team foul. Yeah, and Elenu's first, so she can afford to give that foul as we see it on uh, the replay there. Jovanovic. They've got the switch with Krasinic. Great defense from uh, Kalu. There should be a pass from Elenu somewhere. Delayed a little too long. Vesic, Dabovic for three. In and out. Elenu the rebound. Good recovery there from Serbia to get back, but... Woo. Well, they've got to take these opportunities, haven't they, Nigeria? They're not going to get too many uh, chances to break and get layups. The back way up top. Elenu and the Kamara to set the baseline screen for Akator. Four seconds on the clock. It's a bit slow, isn't it? A back way goes up and blows the layup. Shot clock goes off, but they play on. Brooks. Krasinic. Ooh, I think this is a blocking foul. Two shots to come here. And Elenu second. Do you think that's two shots? Do you think she was shooting? Let's see. I don't think there's a shot here. I think she shoots after the contact. And they're not in the bonus, you see. That's the fourth team foul. Give me your referee's eyes on that one. I'm going to stay neutral. I'm going to stay out of this. <laughs> They're in our same hotel. You're leaving me hanging me out, are you? Yep. Seven-point lead for the home side. A lot of pressure getting heaped on this Nigerian team now. More their offense than anything. Now on reversal to Ibekwe. Again, another penetration. Promise that Mukumar has made one from there already. Now, it could be an easy two for Elenu. It is indeed. Looked like uh, Akatul might have tipped that into Elenu. Brooks fumbles it to Davovic. Brooks takes the middle, it'll stop and pop for two. That is money she's for Yelena Brooks. Yeah, she's automatic from that spot. I really enjoy watching her play. There's nobody really truly as uh, um, she kicks the ball there, but there's nobody I've really seen in this tournament who can get up that, that quick. Skill? Yeah, that skill. It's so hard to defend. Outside that. of the USA, you think? I mean, uh, that's Brianna Stewart's game too, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't even think she shoots it that quick. I would say like Simone Augustine, but she's not here. Yep. She shoots it that quick, but Brooks is very, very quick. Ibekwe to Kalu. Ball screen down to the baseline. Good rotation from Serbia's Vasic. Oh, Davovic picked it out of the air. Three on one break here. Davovic, Vasic, layup, good. Serbia's on a roll. Yeah, great transition break there. Vasic runs down the court. Nigeria rushing everything a bit now. Ibekwe back at us. And a foul and two shots to come down the other end. Yeah. As 
Elenu came flying in. That's her second, third. I think. That's her third. She's going to be disappointed with that coach. Well, you know why? Because she got out. the last one just now as well, yeah? Yep. She's trying a bit too hard. They're going to have to sub her out because three. Uh, you just can't afford the fourth with 50 seconds left as they sub in uh, a Goke number seven. You're going to have to ask Didi. Yep. Didi Madu, mm -hmm. who does the fouls on that bench for uh, Nigeria? Because it seems to me Otis Hewley is the one that has to gather all the information. Because I think <laughs> Elenu went over to tell him she had three fouls. Yeah, she had three fouls and therefore subbed her out. <laughs> Dabovic, 11-point game. It's slipping away from Nigeria slowly but surely. 50 seconds left before the break. A little bit of pressure down the floor. Mukamara hits uh, Akator. Sarah Goki's in the game, number seven here. She'll get it right now. Ibekwe fires up a three. Much needed, much needed indeed for Ifi Ibekwe. Back to eight, or uh, nine, excuse me. If I'm Serbia here, I try to attack because uh, Nigeria in foul trouble. Yeah, well, you're going to get run this right down, aren't they? Davids is going to go right deep into the shot clock here. Mukamara just uh, faking at it. There's the spin from Davovic. Brooks fake, step back. And there's a rebound to Vasic. Uh, great rebound from Ibekwe. They survive with a nine point deficit at half time. A very entertaining first half. Yeah, that's for sure. Both sides playing very hard on defense. I think Serbia just got that edge for me. Uh, really getting to the free throw line as it's 43 to Serbia, 34 to Nigeria. I think Serbia's done a fantastic job uh, putting pressure on the referees to call the fouls and then them get to the free throw line. But on the other hand, they have done a, a terrible job. There was a play there, as we see this, the free throw percentage there, 100% there. And finally, uh, Nigeria's got to the free throw line with 67%. Uh, and then the rebound game, pretty even. Uh, good at six assists, Serbia 11, and the steals are pretty even as well. Uh, I was saying before is that there was a possession there as Brooks is the 11th and Amukamara has uh, 10 points. There was a possession there that Serbia turned over the ball about four times in a the row. They let Nigeria uh, get three to four rebounds. They fouled uh, three, four, five times in a row. Had Nigeria at the free throw line with six minutes to go. I would say that's the only negative and they've managed to really, you know, handle that pressure and, and come back. But I think Nigeria is going to talk about in the halftime, we want to play our style. We need to get back up pressing. We need to trap. We need to make them speed up because right now Serbia is very, very composed and they are winning this battle. Well, that's the important word to use there, composure, right? Because uh, Nigeria, they don't play many European teams. It's mostly in the uh, Afro basket, of course, and when they get to big championships. So their defense has a big effect against most teams they play. They don't yep. play against many teams that deal with the pressure with ease. Yeah, I Serbia's dealing with the pressure, very, therefore very well. the turnovers aren't necessarily producing as many points as perhaps as they're used to. Yeah, I, I would agree with you on that. I think at the same time, Serbia would have prepped for this. This is not a surprise. Uh, Nigeria constantly um, presses the whole game. Uh, and they just, like here, you see Vasage, boom. There's a mismatch on uh, Mukamara, and she just takes the time, one dribble, uh, and just easy layups for them. I think they're, they're a little bit more smarter, and like we said, composed team at this point in the game. So we'll have a few more highlights before uh, we close out for the halftime break. We'll see you in about 12 and a half minutes' time, the other side of this uh, halftime, and another second half, or a second half heading for you that is going to be very, very exciting. Can Nigeria get a way back? Well, uh, time will tell. They've got 20 minutes to get it in and uh, get this game back on level terms. See you then.
Rejection there by Tadashi. See the replay here. The good help coming over and just swatting that away. Chelsea Gray is. And uh, Suberg is the first off the bench to get up and congratulate that play. Sean White hit from the top of the key. Now she throws. Driving in. She's rejected. We'll get the crowd ball.
You started the game out strong, solid first quarters, tailed off a little bit in the second. What do you need to do now to regain control of the game? We need to hope they call it even. They shot 12 free throws, we shot two. You think something wrong with that? They don't foul? And we got to do a better job of executing our offense and don't give them second shots and take care of the ball. Thanks, Coach. Coach, you're able to take control in the second quarter there. What do you need to do in the second half of the game now to maintain that lead and keep your composure? We need to play a lot stronger. They're going to play. They're a tough team, like I said at the beginning. They're going to play 20 minutes more. We've got to keep playing, keep playing, never stop. Never have empty moments. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Welcome back, everyone, to the Alexander Nikolic Arena here in Belgrade, Serbia. And the uh, two coaches' points of views there. You see Promise of Mokamara's uh, statistics for the first half. Ten points, a couple of threes made, 2,000. Do you think they will go double point guard the second half uh, against Serbia and then give up that height advantage maybe defensively, uh, Zania? Yeah, maybe. I, I mean, they are quite a fair few points down, so... Coach is so sweet. He always looks after his players as he wipes uh, Kalu's face there. Um, Elunu, sorry, his face. Um, for me, I think they have to go back to their identity. They have to turn up the heat here. They need a lot of points to come back into this game. It is possible. Yes, today we have seen some tremendous comebacks by Spain uh, and GB. So there's no doubt that there's a comeback in, in um in Nigeria here. I, I thought that was interesting at halftime. Uh, Coach uh, Puli for Nigeria said uh, there's too many fouls for Serbia. They have got to the free throw line and they've only got to the free throw line two times and, and uh, Serbia have got there a fair few times. I think ten times in fact. So he was a bit disappointed. So it'll be interesting to see how uh, the teams come out. If they come out aggressive and try and put pressure on the referees. But Serbia I think are doing a fabulous job by just staying composed. Also staying true to themselves in uh, finding their advantage with Davovic, Vasic and uh, the hot uh, shooter from Brooks. Well, it's funny isn't it because in some ways, Julie's comments don't make any sense at all, do they? Because the foul count is 13-10. Yeah. The referees had Serbia in bonus after four minutes. Very true. And uh, but Serbia have made all 14. They're 14 of 14, and uh, Nigeria's four of six. So uh, make of it what you will on that one. I think the first quarter definitely had a point because 18, 18 fouls against four. Well, that was definitely balanced up in the second period. Anyway, we are moments away from uh, rejoining this game. Referees have walked into position. Yeah, I might have to uh, take my jacket off out here because it's definitely it's, uh, got a roasting, bit... isn't it? Yeah, the, the crowd is Sneak heating up. Tell everybody to stop moving. <laughs> Open a window or two. Because it's freezing outside, I'm telling you. It's a beautiful arena. This is the... Uh, this would have been the home floor. I think it's a Red Star Belgrade back in the day obviously they'll play some of their smaller games I think they play their ABA games here the men's team the big 22,000 seat arena where the Eurobasket room was last summer was obviously a little too big for this tournament anyway Serbia onto the floor looks like it's the same starting five that started the game Krasnic, Vasic, Dabovic, uh, Jovanovic and Brooks, and for Nigeria, Kalu, Ingifa, Akator, Elanu, and Macaulay. So everybody as they were to start the game. Here we go, third period, 20 minutes left. Only Nigeria can uh, book the ticket to Tokyo with a win. Serbia will have to wait to tomorrow. Kalu in a bit of trouble straight away, turned over straight away. Brooks down the other end, lays up good. And not a great sign to start the game. The pressure, the team with the likes to play the pressure has been pressured themselves. Yeah, correct. And just uh, unfortunately just trips over there, Kalu. Akator and all sorts of problems too. Two turnovers back to back and Serbia of uh, their all their experience are really going to work here. Davovic goes baseline, kicks it eventually. Brooks, they're going to take their time here. Vasic down low. What a great pass because Brooks was there as it met the ball. 
Timing no problem. What a shot. What a tough shot. Yelena Brooks has just gone to work tonight. Yeah, and they've started off hot just where they left off from the first half. 13, another turnover for Nigeria. That's three in a row. Hewley will not believe what's going on. Oh, it's a poor pass. Unlucky. Brooks holds her hand up to say, I'm not sure what she apologizing for. Not being at the right place at the right time, possibly. So talk me through the shirts wrapped around the shoulders of these players. Well, in Serbia especially. Tell me your view on that. Or what's actually... Is it a towel or is it a shirt? No, the shirts have, on their shoulders have just oh, been wrapped oh, around, oh, oh, oh. turned around inside. I'll let you know after, a... after this play. Thank you. Nigeria in control here. Three turnovers in a row. Krasinek, I think, is going to get a foul here. 33. So they like to tuck the jersey under their sports bra, especially sometimes if your shoulders aren't that broad and, and the jersey's too big. It will just come over your shoulders and get in the way of you shooting. So some players mm. like to just tuck it under Thank their you. sports bra to keep it sleek and out of the way. I feel illuminated now. Oh, it's a, almost another errant pass there from Ngifa. Backdoor McCauley, great pass. And uh, wonderful hustle from Krasinik to spoil it up. There's a layup waiting to happen if McCauley had caught it. Yeah, good hustle for um, her to get back there and get it out of bounds. It's another turnover. Akator picks it up and there's uh, all sorts of pressure on this Nigerian team now. Yeah, they're kind of crumbling a little bit here. Three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back turnovers and uh, Serbia is just executing very, very well. So I need Nigeria just to c compose themselves, grab themselves together and, uh, and get back in this game or Serbia will run away with it. Jovanovic is eight. Picks up the dribble early. Davovic looking down low to Krasinik. Travel. Uh, yeah, it's a good call. I was waiting for. I thought the whistle might come a bit quicker, but we got there in the end. Aww. That's a nice little shot, isn't it? Sweet. <laughs> All I want is a kiss. No, I mean, <sighs> offensive foul. That's turnover number five in a row. They haven't even shot the ball yet, Nigeria. Second half, we've got a minute and 39 seconds. Five turnovers, no shots. And that is Kalu's third foul with only two minutes wow. into this third quarter. A crucial one. Jovanovic, they'll drag this out. They've got a short shot clock at 14, down to 10 now. Brooks, skip pass here to Vasic. Great pass to Krasnic. Goes up. Now Nigeria, we're looking for a shot. Gifa all the way down to McCauley. McCauley skipped to Kalu. Elenu missed, and Serbia's ball. Got a feeling Serbia might have touched that last of all. Yeah. Uh, is that their first shot? Yes, this it is of the second half. Yeah. Of the second half. So we're at 7 minutes 55, and Nigeria have just taken their first shot. Look at Hewley, just making sure. The referees know. He's very unhappy and he is not speaking yeah. highly to the referees, so he has warned him. It's called working the referees, right? Working him. If he speaks to me like that, I'll tee you up. Brooks Jovanovic is the screen for Davovic, comes up top instead. Ball screen, Davovic. Uh, that's a game, right? Little 15 foot of jump shot off a two dribble, one dribble. Yeah, Serbia looking real It's running away right now, right now yeah. Yep. And it's truly Nigeria's fault. I mean, there is pressure here, but just silly, not caught, catching the ball smoothly. Great turn from uh, Ngifa, another turnover. That's number six of the quarter. This could be the stat leader of this third quarter, right. if we're not careful. We're three minutes in, but look, no pressure again. They're, they're not staying true to themselves, Nigeria, no. so when they look back at this film, they're going to be very disappointed. It's all psychological, isn't it? How can you pick yourself up when things are going wrong? That's how you pick yourself up. Skip to Kalu, who lays up for a layup. And two for Nigeria. And Kalu's right up on defense as well. Here's the replay as, uh, as in it. Kalu goes in and lays a great camera angle. Dabovic, low post. Up, blocked. 
Krasnich finishes. You know, Krasnich had no right to go and get that rebound after the dab of its miss, but she made a presence felt. McCauley, good defense from Serbia. And a foul has been called belatedly. Yeah, late foul. And Victoria Dabovic. McCauley is looking at the referee on the baseline like, please, that's your call. But she gets bailed out here and she gets to the line. Yelena Brooks there. He worked hard in practice this morning. You know, when we watched the practice for Serbia, they were going through the paces. Malkovic was... Uh, they had defensive slides this morning. I was quite impressed with what they were doing on game day. Yeah, they were very intense, actually. They did do a, uh, a section of uh, conditioning in their shoot-around. McCauley misses the second. Ivanovic cleans up. It's that pressure. I just love that uh, ball pressure coming up down the floor. Now they've got to get in the half-court play pressure. Brooks lines up a long three. Short. Chance for Nigeria to... Uh, Inch into this uh, lead. Kalu McCauley. Kalu looking at the three, decides that's the one I want. Holds that hand up for everybody to see and say, that's me. And a turnover from uh, Davovic, that was ill advised for sure. Now, that wasn't a foul, although Kalu did trip on. Uh, Jovanovic's legs. Yeah, and Bastos just slows them down. They want something good here. The mismatch versus Brooks. That will be turnover number eight. Great play from Krasinic. Just posting up Akator. Akator can't let that happen on the weak side. That is uh, intelligent basketball from Krasinic. Yeah, Krasinic did such a good job uh, posting up uh, Akator there. And flying in for another rebound. She is going to work on the boards. She had three at the break. I know she's got at least two in this half. Maybe uh, Nigerian coach Otis might look to make a few subs here. Well, he needs a change, that's for sure. Vasic goes up. Vasic gets herself. And the referee will travel, yep. Still only a 13-point game. He's going to go for uh, right. Mohamed and Mukamara to come in on the five-minute mark. It's Kalu's three, a little step back. It's a lovely little shot there. Yeah, it is indeed. Nothing but nylon. <laughs> I say nothing but net. Yeah. Same thing, made out of. Okay, well, if Nigeria wants to get back in this game, they've got to make a good choice right here. They need a good look at the basket, no turnovers. And then a good defensive possession on the other That's end. Actually, on eight turnovers for the quarter, in my uh, reckoning. Mohamed and Makamara. Well, she got the shot. She's made a couple already. She's got to be very bold out there. Kalu will take it on instead. Oh, what a rebound from Mohamed. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Yeah. Great turn. McCauley in the lane. Little fadeaway arcs it up. Just maybe needed a little composure on that one. And a tough angle she gave herself in the end. Yeah, I wish she would just stay a bit more composed, like turn and look at the basket. She's turning and shooting and not getting her eyes yeah. on the rim. Not squaring up properly, though. Davanovic yes. pushes off. Jovanovic with the ball, guarded by Kalu. Kalu will have to be very careful. Jovanovic fires up a three. Well, Nigeria have definitely got Serbia where they want them, which is not scoring. Mukamara goes in, out of control slightly. They have to get back on D now. And in true Serbian style, they don't want to rush it and get a bad shot. Down low to Vasic, in and out. Vasic chases Brooks, Brooks chases after a rebound. This is Davovic. Yeah, that's this is Vasic here. Vasic for three. Got it! <laughs> Celebrations at half court between Davovic and Vasic. It is timeout for Nigeria. They trail by 16. Beautiful arc shot there from uh, Sonia Vasic. And you know what? Serbia are playing this same way they played against USA. The same style, the same aggressiveness. They didn't lose by a lot versus uh, the number one team in the world. So I commend them for playing that well. And it's just translated back into this game as we listen in to the timeout.
Sarah Ogoke looks like she might be coming to the game here. Yeah, she, she'll be the third guard, right? The third yeah. backup guard. Second so I wonder what guard. he's trying to uh, do here. Turn up the heat, but I, I would like them to press more. I think if I shout really yep. loud, he'll hear me. Yeah, I don't think he needs hearing. I think I'm pretty sure that's what he wants his troops to do. Only to trouble with having a Goke a small. and a Mukamara out there as they are very small. And indeed, it is Sarah Goki number seven on the floor. Yeah. So uh, somebody's going to post somebody up. Right. Uh, it's either a Mukamara is going to get posted up or a Goke. My right. feeling is it'll be a Goke. Yeah, and then. Uh, well, the, well, whoever's guarding Davovich, really. Here's a Mukamara. Trailing by 16, Nigeria. And the press from Serbia trying to hurry things up. Serbia might feel that uh, with a Kalu on the bench, they haven't really got a floor general out there. That's to be proven. If Bekwe drives, no angle at all. The rebound and the foul. Rebound Milic, foul Ibekwe. That's really hot for me. I, I, she puts her hands up, but for me, that's another tough play you you miss the basket but then you can't bail out uh, and foul server you've just got to get back on defense and set the tone because now she's on two fouls as well brooks and turned over by mccauley they got two on one here sure they got numbers they should use them mccauley in throws it up and scores great skill from mccauley Seems there to contort her body in midair and Flicked it over her shoulder, but she got the job done. Davovic turns the corner. Well done, uh, Amuk Mukamara. Just managed to flick it away from Davovic as she went up. I think he's starting to enjoy saying Amukamara, aren't you? Well, actually trying to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. It sounds like a song to me. Akator comes into the game, and uh, Mohammed will sit down. Obalarabe, as she's uh, married, known by a married name. Dragana Stankovic is in the game for Serbia. Here she is with the ball, 14. Back door is Milic. Milic will forward. Look to finish. She's missed it. Ibekwe out of the pack with the ball. She's keeping going. She's buried in the corner with a Goke. Here's McCauley. McCauley in. That's a, not a bad move. Just couldn't get it over that front rim. Now, Nigeria all, all over the place here, but, but somehow Akator blocks the shot. Agoke sprinted down the other end, and Mukamara goes up and scores. That is a tough move with nobody in sight to go and get an offensive rebound or bail her out if she missed it. We are back to 12. There's a certain amount of tension in the gym. He's uh, they're not out of sight yet. Chado loves the three. And that'll be a foul against Serbia, I think. Yes, great job by Prom Promise and Mukamara just hustling in there. She's Milic's foul, 13. And causes Milic to foul. It's her third. Surprised nobody's fouled out yet. <laughs> There's a lot of lights up there. Yeah, there is. And you can see that Promise and Mukamara is uh, doing all the dirty work in terms of rebound. Look at that rebound. She's probably saying, where are the bigs to help me? Yeah, bigs are never where you need them, are they? Hey. <laughs> Amukamara here. Let's move on quickly. Akator didn't like the look of the three that was open to it. Ibekwe loves the three. Elanu double teamed on the pick and roll and turned over with ease. Shadow up. Oh, what a pass. Oh, she's thrown it away. Great hustle from Elanu. Wonderful hustle. Wide open. Amukamara in and out. Oh, and Serbia might, uh, Nigeria might keep this, I think. Akator is the one that was passing underneath. Marina Malkovic there. Never look, they will never look on with a smile of uh, satisfaction, that's for sure. Yeah, she's a tough cookie, that coach. Bekwe. Shot clock down to eight. Plenty of time. It's not a bad look, but it was intercepted with ease by Stankovic. Bojevic now. If you have back, uh... Shadow for three. Gone long on this one, and uh, Vasic with the rebound. Back yeah. to Bojevic. 
if you're Bekwe, a little bit sloppy there and just turn that ball right over into Serbia's hands. Shadow again, one dribble left and three. Will it drop in? No, there's hands all over it. One of them, Stankovic. This is a long, long defense that Nigerian have to enjoy here. Milic, wide, wide open. There it is. Vasic, another three. You know, pound for pound and jumping, I think this is Nigeria's first time uh, having a team that is as tall as them and can jump. So they need to box out as good little steal there by um, Boyevich. Boyevich, thank you. Uh, and they're just out, re out rebounding them and hustling them. And here we see Vasic. Well, you know, it's the old adage that you don't double down from a score from a shooter on the perimeter ball side, do you? No, nope. that's exactly Strong why Vasic wide, wide open. Eighteen seconds left in the quarter. Eleven on the shot clock. Serbia might get another opportunity to score. You have to get the ball in bounds first. They do eventually an Akator and a foul from Stankovic. Yeah, and that's Stankovic's third, I think, also. No, this is her second. Yeah. Perfect. Second foul. Yeah. So Hewley's uh, bemoaning the fouls at halftime. It's been fairly uh, tame this quarter. Fourth Ser Serbian fouls and two Nigerian. Eight on the shot clock. Shot goes bank. Oh, my goodness. A cameraman almost went for guy for cover. Thought he was going to get hit. Another bank shot down the other end. Doesn't go in. And at the end of three, it's a 13-point game. 59, Serbia 46, Nigeria. And Serbia have not got it out of the uh, into comfort zones yet. No, but I think they've done enough, and they're obviously going into this fourth quarter. They've done enough just to stay composed, really uh, take charge, as we see here. They're still getting to line 100%, shooting 15 from 33, 45% from the twos, and Nigeria's only sh shooting 36. You know, if Nigeria's going to make a crack uh, to get back into this game, I think they've got to go back to what they know best is their defense. Really, really turn it up. You know, both sides are getting called fouls. Everyone's being aggressive. Um, but for me, Serbia here, look, as we see Brooks, just takes the time, look, feels McCauley, banks it off the, sh uh, off the uh, backboard there. I just think they just, they look fantastic. They're just playing to their style as uh, Dabovic hits her jump shot. Yeah, it's a good team. There's no doubt about it. You turn over there as uh, Kalu went flying to the lane. And Serbia is well tested now. They're what a bronze medal in the Rio Olympics. They bronze medal in uh, the Europeans. Uh, so they've gone through their fair, uh, you know, battled. They're battle tested, and I think this is where they just have the upper hand against Nigeria in this case. So 10 minutes left in this last third game of the day. And he says the last game, we've got one more left. We've got the USA Mozambique to come. It should be interesting. It's always a fun to watch the USA team. Yeah, it will be. Um, we'll see here, this is the last quarter. I felt like this game has gone really quickly considering how many fouls there are. We're already in the fourth, so. Yeah. So 13-point lead for Serbia. What have Nigeria got left in them to uh, get back into this game? Here we go. Bojevic to start things off. Over to Vasic. Bojevic, not a great three-point shooter, Bojevic. He's more the, uh, Bojevic, more the distributor. No, but I like this five for Serbia. Stankovic, five. Milic, yep. That might drop in. No, it was close. And luckily, McCauley was the one that... Uh, look at the defense here. This is the... Again, the pressure is becoming pressured. Kalu 
chased all over the floor there by the uh, double team from Vasic. And they're having a hard time. Six seconds left on this shot clock. And they haven't even got the ball below the three-point line yet. Just below the three-point line. Yeah, and they doubled Kalu there. I'm not sure she even knew it was right behind her. If she just took her time, there should have been an open Nigerian player somewhere. Three on the buzzer. No good. Oh, it's rebounded well by uh, Ngifa. Akator wide open. Comes in. Ngifa. No call. Oh, there is a late call here. 14. Yeah, you give Stankovic, her, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, you give her here, as you see, she puts it on the floor. She's undersized. She's like a 3 4 man to me. She knows how to post up. She puts the ball on the floor very, very well, and she gets rewarded here with two free shots. Interesting, the call came from the referee that didn't see as much as the baseline referee. I'm not sure whether the referee on the baseline, that was his job to look at that. They all have different areas to look at the floor when the action happens. Yeah, but they're a team, so if one misses it, somebody else will pick it up. Here's Bojevic. Lead is 12. Not out of the woods yet, Serbia. Needs a lot of... A lot of concentration left in this game. An offensive foul here as well. This will go against Milic, I think, 13. That's her fourth foul against uh, Milic. The placement is uh, Krasnik, so you're actually getting, you're upgrading by bringing Krasnik in because she just pounds the offensive boards. Yeah, and right now Serbia is winning the re rebounding game 32 to 28. Elenu is 11 here. And Gifa is off the screen. She can shoot the three. They've gone down low. Well, Kalu had it. A little hesitation. But Kalu, no hesitation the second time she was offered. And we are down to single digits. Nine points is the game right now. Kalu, that could be close to a turnover. Oh, my word. What hustle. Hats off to Azine Kalu. She wears the uh, the flag right on her heart. Yeah. There's the first hesitation. Drops the second one. Fantastic back-to-back -back possessions there for Kalu, the Look MVP. Davovic goes down, and this is a fight here. Oh, yeah, the commitment from both sides. Nigeria have possession. There's a valuable one to win for sure. And Nigeria are not going away. They are still pestering Serbia here. Only down nine with eight minutes, 16 left. Udis Huli saw that, uh, that tie ball from Kaloum straight down the bench, getting the bench involved, clapping away. He's a big enthusiasm guy. McCauley, great move. Foul. This looks like it might be Krasinik. And I think she got hit in the face. 33. Maybe the eye. McCauley's down. Haunched over. It's a great spin move. I think Vasic might have caught her with an elbow. She might be seeing three rims up there right now. She's got a <laughs> finger in the eye. Staying for the middle one, isn't it? Yeah, let's see what happens. Does she make it? Doesn't well, matter. No problems. Hit in the eye or not, Victoria McCauley hits the first. You can see her eyes a little bit red there. Yeah, definitely. It misses the second. Eight the difference. Nigeria inching their way back in here. Kalu has been inspirational for me. Great defender, great competitor. Yeah, she plays both ends, doesn't she? Very, very well. We've got the switch. Brooks guarded by Kalu. Boyevich will have to settle for three. And Nigeria have forced a real rush shot there out of uh, Serbia. Here's McCauley. Ngifa. Akator 
Hits front uh, the side of the rim. And Nigeria sprint back to make sure they don't get beaten on the break. Is Bojevic. Here comes the press. They make it out. She got out of it well, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Looking down low here to Krasnik. Vasic penetrates. Vasic fades in and out. And Kra uh, it's, uh, sorry, it's Brooks hustling after that rebound. Elenu. Turned over by Bojevic, just took her eye off the defender, Bojevic behind her. Great job, Bojevic just coming in there and stealing that right out of Elenu's hands. Good spin from Bojevic, wide, wide open, Vasic hits the front of the rim. And again, Nigeria won't go away. They're yeah, hanging in there, oh, no foul call Two there. Fouls. And basket from Kalu. Malkovic has to call timeout. There was a couple of fouls there to stop the play. Look at this. There's one reach there. There's a second reach there. That could have easily been an and one. Yeah, that is an and one in my opinion. I don't give the referees much hell for that, but that's a dangerous play going to the rim. Gentleman's waving a Serbian and a Nigerian flag. He can't make his mind up, yeah, I guess. Yeah, representing both Nigeria, but he's in Serbia. <laughs> 6.30 to go. Six-point game. We never saw this quite coming like this, did we? Well, no, but at the same time today, in true fashion, it has been the comeback it has. story. It has indeed. And, the, and every team that's made the comeback has not quite finished it off, have they? Yeah, but they've done a really good job fighting back, and here's Nigeria doing the exact same thing. So can Serbia hold on for the win? And this crowd is definitely into it right now. They can sense that uh, there's work to be done. Brooks. Akator right there, and Gifa's all over uh, Jovanovic. Davovic up top. McCauley goes after the shot, and hence the air ball. Jovanovic missed. Here's the rebound, and Gifa off to the races. Oh, it's a foul. Travel, travel. Oh, travel. Yeah. Tough one. I think there, that's tough. I know you're trying to put pressure on, but. Sometimes you just have to be a bit more patient, bring the ball out. It was one on three, I think, uh, for Ingifa there. She knows it. She puts her hands up and says, my bad. She should have pulled it out. Nigeria, six points from an Olympic qualification. Turnovers there, 17 to 15. A lot of turnovers. Uh, Serbia, Serbia have not done their part, have they? Because Nigeria had eight to start the second and third period. Dabovic in, skip pass here to Jovanovic, long from Vasic, Vasic three! That'll settle a few nerves. Big time player, big time shot. Yeah, she's been in a, definitely a lot of situations like that. Fantastic to see uh, the shot clock running down. Kalu picked up the dribble early in Gifa. Down low to Akator. Skip pass here, McCauley fires her own three up. Ellen Udari was in there, and Vass is cleaned up. Five to play. Serbia can't get the qualification tonight. They'll have to wait to 24 hours. Brooks throws it up as foul. She sliced through two players, one of them being in Gifa. And the foul will go against uh, Victoria McCauley, I think, 25. Be her third. That's how good Brooks is, right? Getting through two players. Yeah. So many He's times soft. you see players running into each other, but the ability to to bisect and yeah. get into space. Yeah, she got that swipe down and Victoria McCauley on her face. And then uh, 
We saw Vasic with under one second on the clock shooting that three-pointer for Serbia. Was it down to one, was it? I didn't yes, miss that, yeah. Yes, it was less than one. Point five, I think. Well, this will be five points without reply if this goes in. From a six-point game to an 11-point game. That's how potent this Serbian team is. And they don't panic. No. They don't panic, even though uh, Nigeria had them on the ropes a little bit with their nice little run. They just stayed with it. Stayed. Too good. Yeah. They're too good. Too experienced. Too many. Too, these guys have been too many tournaments together. 2015 Eurobasket champions. Over to Akator. Runs into a brick wall of Brooks. So this uh, Serbian team, their prominence came at the uh, 215 Eurobasket with a gold. They went on to Rio, claimed bronze. They uh, fell off the hill a bit in the 217 Eurobasket, but right back last year. With a bronze. Yep. Akator, low post. That's a quick move. She's fumbled it. Oh, what a pass from Jovanovic. What a save. Davovic, now these guys are coming to play. All the experience, all the games they've played over the years. They are drawing on a lot of this uh, resilience. Vasic, Nigeria's getting tired. Vasic kills a jump shot. That's a spectacular time. And a turnover. Oh, Jovanovic can only throw it straight to Nigerian hands. Well, from a six-point game to 13. Well, you know, Davovic was calling for an eight-second call, and she was right. Yeah. That shot from Vasic, she just floated in the air there as uh, Brooks fouls yet again. That will be her third, I'm pretty sure, or her second. But uh, her third there. Um, but Vasic just floats and flies in the air so sweetly and just takes her time and hits that shot. It's fantastic. I wish I could shoot like that. She was a youngster when Spartak picked her up, right? Spartak Moscow picked her up and she was uh, played a lot of bench time on that great team with uh, uh, Torazi was on that team, Fowles was on that team. I think Sue Bird was on that oh, team. She yeah. played a lot of backup minutes, but... Uh, She's on the other side yep. playing some fantastic basketball. Really enjoy uh, watching her and Brooks play Pretty good Serbian basketball today. So Kalu ices a free throw. Leading scorer for Nigeria. So 17. That'll make it 18. Three forty to go. What's left in Nigeria's tank to finish this one off? It's been a spirited performance. They've kept themselves in it. The defense has been uh, there the whole time. Mukamara's in now. Davovic turns, tries to turn the corner, and Kalu picks up foul number four. She won't be overly concerned looking at the time left in the game. But she can't risk anymore. That's the only Assistant thing. Assistant coach has gone over to Hewley just to let him know. That's answered my question, who's looking after the fouls then? Five-second call against Jovanovic, and uh, Malkovic turns to the referee and said, I haven't seen that call since, uh, since I was in high school. One, two, three, four, five it was, wasn't it? Quick five for sure. Yeah, she's asking the referee, please explain. Well, there's no explanation. It's five-second call, but <laughs> the explanation yes. should be it was a quick one. Yes. And Gifa comes back to help out. Kalu, who's been uh, the power tonight, turns the ball over. She turned to the referee and said, uh, foul, I don't think there was. Yeah, she said he, she hit my hand. The ball didn't just fly out for no reason. But anyway, they've got to get it back. They can't afford these turnovers here in Nigeria. And she can't afford to pick up her fifth foul either. No. McCauley almost got caught there. Brooks is a uh, Vasic to Brooks. Brooks' little flick shot. Need a little more power in that one. It's a foot short. So, Nigeria need points. Where's it coming from, Azania? Um, I'm going to say uh, Promise of No Mokumara. guesses now. Don't guess. Come on. Who's it coming from? <laughs> Promise of Mokumara. Promise is going to get the shot, you think? Yep. And uh, rebound by Eleni. Picked up the dribble early from Gifert down to McCauley. I think McCauley might get it, you know. 
She does indeed, and scores. Nine the difference. And Otis Shuley's just barking at his troops to get into them defensively. He's also asking for a foul, and add one on that Oh, one. yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah, yeah. Good shout. Davovich guarded by Kalu. Kalu cannot foul out here. Davovich almost lost it. Vasic penetrates. Shot goes up, missed, and uh, promised to Mukamara. Comes running out of the blocks. Here's the three you wanted. Three, got it! And Otis surely punches the eye in the air. And he's screaming at his kids. They are that close once again. Well, she didn't score on the last possession that you asked me to uh, Do the profit. Bet. Yeah, but here it is. But Bang. you are the profit of doom now. <laughs> The, the next promise possession. was there. Yeah, the promise was uh, there to hit that shot. Fantastic shot by her. They're back in the game, six-point game. As hopefully, maybe we can hear into the Serbian timeout. Probably gone to that timeout to say, how many times do you want to win this game? They must have won it twice, and now they're back in a ball game again. Yeah, she just rallied her troops here. She took the timeout just to say, come on, girls, let's get it together. Let's get two to the finish line. Because uh, Nigeria definitely, you know, they've done a few mistakes, but they're not going away. They have fought two for nail all the way to the end here. Two minutes, 17 seconds. See if they put this press on to try and steal and get a quick basket. End line ball for Serbia, full court press as usual from Nigeria. Here's Brooks, one on one with Eranu up the court and breaks the press. Vasic, they're already down to 15 on the shot clock here. Krasinic up top. Davovic. Down low to Brooks and Eranu gets a foul. Yeah. And, uh, you know, at some point, with all the contact going out there with the Nigerian defense, there was going to be a time when the referee was going to call right. it tight. Yeah, and that's uh, Elanu's fourth foul. And team's fourth, I think, as well. Yeah, so she hasn't fouled out yet, but both teams are going to be... Krasnick, team's third, actually, Nigeria. Yeah, they've got two more to go. Brooks goes in, locked by McCauley, who says... Uh, not in my casa. Probably not to say it like that, but the long arms of Victoria Com McCauley. Yeah, and that could have been potentially maybe an offensive foul as she pulls her arm. I thought Brooks put her arm away, left yeah, arm, yeah. Yep. But good no well, call. What, I think the referees are going to go over and see who's it come off last. Luckily for us, the head referee will have a microphone on, so we should be able to hear into... It's only lucky he was going to say something, right? Well, he was going to discuss, isn't he? <laughs> He's oh. going to discuss the movement and One the play. Look, see, here we go. Come on, don't prove me wrong. So, can you go back and I will stop? Let's do it. Yes, this can I let's, let's go. You will not. Have, you'll have a hard time finding out who this is off last. Can you take? Can you take? Yes, this. Ultra slow mo. You're right about the left arm of uh, Brooks. Brooks's left arm just trying to clear out McCauley. This may have come off Brooks last at all, you know. Yeah, I think so. As she hits the ball down back onto her arm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this shot we'll might do it. We get a better angle here. Oh, you're right. This is going to be Nigeria's ball. Did it hit her head as well? Back, Just clip her back. hair. Play play. Yes. I don't think it did. Viola, you agree? It touched the head, head of the white Yeah, that's player. what the referees are saying. Yes, ball change the, now ball change direction. You see, see the spin, ball, the, the ball, ball changes direction. as it goes okay. past the so head. So our decision is green ball, green ball, okay? Green ball. Huge green. call here. Yep. Good jobs, referee, though. Always use the technology available to you. Well done, head referee here as he makes the call. Green ball. It's green ball. I would have to Serbia agree with this. Serbia fans are uh, 
Well, understandably upset. They're not seeing what we're seeing. They definitely aren't. And uh, Nigeria have called a timeout so they can get the ball all the way down on their end and draw a good play. This is Hughley's second timeout. I'm not sure he will advance it, but yeah, he he's got a choice. It. Did he, he show? It? It, yeah. You always put more pressure on yourself, aren't you? What closer? No, with 14 seconds. Oh, uh -uh. You. Uh, Let's see what he draws up. You get 24 from the end line of 14 and bring it up. Some great, great shots here of how intense and competitive this battle has been. Nigeria walk onto the floor. They've advanced it. They'll have 14 on the shot clock. And I didn't get to hear much into uh, Nigeria's timeout, so it'll be interesting to see what they set up here. It's going to look like uh, maybe a screen down from Elanu, from uh, Princess uh, Promise of Mukamara. Let's have a look. McCauley, Ngifa to McCauley, back to Ngifa. She's crowded out by Serbian players. What a tough shot from Ngifa. That is outstanding. We're as close as we've been for a very, very long time. Four-point game. Serbia needs some points. And wonderful work from Kalu. The referees let them play a little. <laughs> yeah, Kalu's begging for that it came off Vassage's uh, hand last. You know, the refs will know she's on four fouls. They won't want to foul her out easily. No, I don't think so. She needs to be smart enough to not pick that up. Right, Gifa just... Uh, the defense is great because there's hands everywhere. Hands are so active for this Nigerian team. Here's the skip. It's not a great pass. Brooks has to settle for three. Serbia in trouble here. Kalu, oh, it's a poor pass. It's a poor pass from uh, Azine Kalu. As well as she's played today, that was not the right decision. Yeah, for me, I think she takes that shot. She yeah. is, you know, the offensive uh, scorer. You take that shot. Davidic running the clock here. Yeah, six seconds left. They've got to get a shot up. What, what a defense from Ron Kamara. Good kick, Brooks. Same shot, same result, missed. And again, oh, Nigeria had it in their hands. Serbia will get this now. And Gifa, 30 seconds left. That's a great block. What a block that was. Was it McCauley coming down? Yeah, I think so. Oh, my goodness me. I think... Uh, great timing for... Here we go. We can, no, look no. at this. No, no. Oh, Silent was, Assassin. Yeah. Elanu. Look at this, great timing. You don't hear me. In the face. I'm right there. Get out of here. Adora Elanu has come up with the uh, game-saving block, potentially. Yeah, 31.1 so, left. Yeah, that's disappointing for Elanu there. Uh, Kalu, sorry. She turned it over and then turned it over down here where she tried to do a little bounce pass. Those two plays might cost them the game as they're down four at the moment. Well, we've seen three unbelievable games of three unbelievable comebacks from 15 points, all three of them. Each time, the two previous, the comeback team has not won. My, if I was going to put money on this, I'd say this is the third one. I can't see Serbia. Four points are tough to get back in 30 seconds. Well, Nigeria needs a uh, quick score here. There's only 31 seconds, and then they've got to snap right into their press. Get up into Serbia, maybe get a five-second count. 
maybe get the ball back, or if they get the ball in, maybe a quick trap. You don't want to foul too early in the shot clock, but at this point, you need the ball back. Sideline ball for Nigeria. Whatever Otis Huley drew up, now is the time to execute it to perfection. Last time, Ngifa ended up with a shot. McCauley's the object of desire here. Great kick out, Elenu three. Missed it, good tip back, couldn't get it. And Serbia now will surely get fouled here, McCauley fouls. They've still got one foul to get, oh, and sportsmanlike, oh. goodness me. And a stage like this in the game, you know, you know the intent of the players, right? They want to stop the game. Let me see this in the replay here. Does she go for the ball? Well, I would say yes. She swipes over. Uh, that's the vice president. He is very upset with that call. She swipes to the ball. I don't know. Maybe because she's behind. It's the left arm. I think the referees will be interested. And the right arm looked like it might have made a move to the ball. Unsportsmanlike like foul. Okay. No, no. From the uh, start from the main camera. Main camera. Normal speed. So they double checking this is an unsportsmanlike yeah. foul. Yeah. Good, yeah. Go That's good. Good show. With the main camera. I say stop. You stop, and then we choose the camera. Okay. Go. Stop. So now we choose the camera. This is fantastic, this though. The cameramen do a great job for them to have all these socks. Oh, there's the play on the ball right yeah, there. This one, this one. Sorry, this one. Left arm completely okay, away, back. right go hand back. going for the ball. Okay, let's go. From running from behind and trying to obviously get the ball, that's why I think he called it intentional because she's behind. Yep. But it'll be I interesting totally to see. Go back, go back. They don't want to make this call. Go back, go back. I think I'll be surprised in these stages of sports more like, but I've seen stranger things happen. This is a tough call for the referee to make. He doesn't actually see the right hand. The right hand is obscured from so the referee on the baseline has got the full view of it. Yeah, let's talk it over now. Okay, can you go? Go one more. Okay, we stay with the C3. Unnecessary contact. Yeah, they stay Let's with go. it. Yeah, yes. 25. Yes, 25. Yeah. No comment, Zayn. No comment at all. Well, it's disappointing because here they'll get two free shots and the ball back. That's pretty much the game there. So I, I need some. I think we'd all need to see, and, and uh, Otis Hulu need to see, what is the definition of making a play on the ball? Especially when you're coming from behind. Well, it doesn't matter whether you come from behind. No, I'm just saying, yeah. like, because she but was the, the running... the right hand was reaching across for the ball. Right, it wasn't the left. If it was the left swiping at her body, I would say... That's an unsportsman line. He's... Otis Hulu is... Not happy about it, but... No. Yet again, the referees have gone to... Um, the board and reviewed it so that's the best they can do shot from Davovich is good makes it a five-point game now six they'll get the ball there will be a quick foul Nigeria won't need to worry about uh, points differential I don't think would have turned it over. Great play, a layup point. Oh, a three point from Kalu. That looked like a foul. Definite contact from Jovanovic. They will play this out now. Vasic. Foul from uh, Ngifa. Wow, I can't believe they turned that, that bad boy over. Wonderful defense from this team. Well, they've kept it interesting from the right to the end, haven't yeah. they? Yeah, they've kept us on our toes for sure, Mick. That's it twice, this one. If it was nice already, seven points of difference now. Look at how low scoring this is. This is when Nigeria thrive, right? In a low scoring defensive battle. Serbia so had 43 at the break. 
26 second half points. That's all they put together. And a foul from Dabovic. With 3.2 left, you wonder why she even got involved. Well, another tremendous effort from the team from behind. We've seen the third comeback, but yet again, the team who started and was winning the whole game has definitely, as she gets a soft bounce, um, but they've, they've come out the winners. Yeah, it's been a good performance from Serbia. They've, uh, their experience, I think, is the one element that's got them through this. Two points from Kalu, another two for her total. They're playing right to the end, and all credit to them. A good win for Serbia. They will have to wait 24 hours to confirm the ticket. 70-64. It was 15 points at one time. It was down to four late in the fourth. Late, late in the fourth. And Serbia have dodged a bullet here, survived this one. For sure, but great job for Nigeria to fight back into this game. Also, well, Mozambique isn't the strongest. I don't want to count them out, but they have to play uh, Serbia next. And uh, I think Serbia has enough weapons to get that, that win. So nobody stamped their ticket too, but I think Serbia will be the stronger team to go through. Uh, but talking about this day, uh, game, as Serbia has a lovely little dance there in the middle, I thought they pretty much led the way. They were very, very poised. Uh, they didn't get startled by um, Nigeria's press, but at the same time, I felt like Nigeria let off their style of basketball. They press all the time, and I think this is the first game, and I've seen many Nigeria games, that they did not press all 40 minutes. As the team from Serbia turned to the fans, there's your stats, Sazenia. Yeah, there, I, I think getting 20 from 20 from the free throw line, I think 100%, that's fantastic from Serbia. And uh, really, you win at the free throw line and the defensive and offensive rebounds. They both tie up at 39 rebounds, but the steal, Serbia wins that with 12 and Nigeria with nine. Fantastic win from Serbia. Vasic, true vet, lovely basketball from her. She flo floated through the sky with 21 points. MVP from the uh, Afro Basket, Kalu, there with 20. As they hug Serbia, very happy. They know that they've done their job. They knew this game was going to be a very difficult one. So here we see some highlights. Uh, Kalu with her first shot of the game. Where do she we had go 20 from games here? for the game, 20 yeah. points for the game, Kalu. I think she really had an outstanding second half. Yeah, I would, I would Led have to from agree the with front. you. I think it's difficult for Nigeria the following game as we see Kalu bring the ball down and uh, that was a double foul there. That should have been an M1. Uh, they have USA in the next game. So that's going to be a, a true test of their character and what they do. But if they lose, they need Serbia to 100% beat Mozambique and they've also um, and I've got a stamped. feeling that they will be playing last of all so they may well already know oh yes who they're uh, whether they're in or out by their game tomorrow evening and I'm just gonna confirmate yeah USA Nigeria is the last game tomorrow Serbia uh, Mozambique is the third game so they will know at the end of that game whether they need to win or they're already in that's a nice feeling yes so uh, I'm sure Nigeria will feel that they are uh, also one step. Yeah, that highlight right there, that's the shot I was talking about. Vasquez just stays those extra seconds in the air. She doesn't get rattled. She takes her time and she hits those shots. Victoria McCauley, I thought, played some pretty good minutes as well. Very versatile, big, as you see her here. Look, she'll put the ball on the floor. Nice two steps. Um, so, yeah, we're into our final game of the evening. So USA Serbia to follow, uh, yes, sorry, USA Mozambique to follow. That's our fourth game of the day. It has been an eventful day. What a great day of basketball. All three games have been outstanding. Enjoy the highlights. We'll be here at 8 o'clock GMT for the final game of the day, USA Mozambique. See you then.